everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you are new, say hi. If you've been here before, say hi. I love our weekly chats and this is my um, Teach Me Tuesdays and it's actually episode 103. So I don't have tons to teach you um, today. Sometimes it's just stamping together. And that's what this one is. This is actually going to be one of the cards that we did for the fall social. And it's using the cute Joyful Life and the fun little bear that's bicycling. So I had um, pieces cut from that that I thought, you know, I'm just going to, um, to do that card, make it a little easier on you today. So hey, Nancy. Hey, Candy. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so the if you have different times, if you had to change your clock, on Saturday or Sunday or whatever day it was, um, you you might be seeing me at a different time in your place, but it's still three o'clock here in Arizona because we do not change our clocks. So um, Jeff always teases and and he always says we don't have to change our clocks in paradise, you know. Now it might be paradise now because the weather is really really nice here. It's still kind of warm in the afternoons. In the summer, not so much. Summers are bad in Arizona, but, you know, it's just, a, a, what is it, five months out of the year or something. The rest, it's beautiful. So, um, he always has to tease. He loves Arizona. We were not g born here. Um, I'm originally from Canada, and Jeff is from Illinois. So, we are, um, you know, we moved after we got married, so we've been here ever since. But Eric was born here, so he's, he's a native. But, so anyways... And we always say our blood is thin when we go back where it's cold because what's not cold to people that live there is so cold to us. So we always tease about that too. So, oh, oh, and Hawaii doesn't do it either, Minda. So see, so, so, um, and I think originally it, it probably was to do with crops, I think. Um, and that's why they didn't change them in Arizona because it would have messed with people being out in the heat longer or something is what is sticking in the back of my head and maybe that's the same way with Hawaii right because of the the, the beautiful weather you have all year long all right so hey Carol and Ann okay so let me um turn the phone and we will get started all right so let me turn the phone while you stare at my hand there all right so Am I straight? Am I crooked? So anyway, so I had the TV on. Oops. And this movie came on, and I have seen it, seen the original years ago. Hit his, 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 hers, and ours. Oh, was it his, hers, and ours, or something like that? And so Jeff's in there watching it. So I have it set to. It's taping now. But I remember seeing the original one and I think it had Doris Day but I can't remember who was on with her I keep wanting to say like Rock Hudson I think I can't remember but it looks so cute so I watched a little bit of it so um, I'll watch the rest of it after but I I don't mind remakes of movies when they're like that because they're cute but sometimes when they remake ones like why do they have to keep making this Spider-Man over they just keep changing the actor and to me that just seems silly okay well let's go back to stamping instead of my tv talk all right so we are going to be using the joyful life what i mentioned and we're going to use the fun little bike and i also stamped the little friends like you make life a joy i already um stamped that on a little piece so we have that now i did cut the bear out just to save some time and oh my gosh look what came in the mail yesterday Another beautiful card from Rhonda. And it was so funny because I, I showed the card that she, um, that from the other day. And then Jeff brought me the mail like five minutes after my live. And there it was. So look how beautiful that is. And I love how it's got that window there. So you can see the irises through. So thank you, Rhonda. I love all these cards you're sending me. All right, you're spoiling me. Okay, so let's get back to the card. So we have lots of blends going on. All right, so I'm gonna throw them all on the table. 
So what I did do was I stamped the bear with the memento ink because we are going to be using the blends and I cut it out and I just used the basic white um, cardstock. I also used the inspiring canopy dies. So we have, um, I guess I probably shouldn't have poured those out right away. All right, so we have pool party. We also have, um, I'm like looking at my original card here. Hold on a minute. Ugh. All right. So we have our our um, card base. It's just the basic white thick. And then this is going to go on here. But before I put this on here, I want to put my trees. Because we're going to make like a little scene. So I love this die because it, it cuts out you know the the cute little trees you can cut them out individually like if you wanted you could just trim this off and trim around and you could have individually individual trees but i love that it cuts out them all together so you have this fun little um whatchamacallit this fun little scene of trees and it keeps them together and i dropped my glue hold on a minute oh my gosh oh i'm so klutzy Jeff keeps saying that. And I said, yes, I know I am. All right, so I'm just going to use the green tip glue and we're just going to glue these down. Now what I would do, if I was gonna do a bunch of these cards, I would actually use the adhesive sheets and I would cut this out and then it would have the glue. But these are the pieces that I cut out for the fall social. So it doesn't have the adhesive sheet on the back of it. All right, so this is just green tip glue. I need to get that other one that has the little shot glass. It's on my big table. Okay, so we've got our tree glued on there. Now also, this um, die also has, um, it has like this, right? Like your road. So what I did was I did with this with the basic gray. And then I want to take my gel pen. And we're just going to make this be a road. So I'm just going to take my gel pen. And I'm just going to put the passing. Whatever you call it. No passing, passing. Little lines that you would have on the road. And, that, and it's just following along. There's like this little groove on there. So it just follows along that groove. So it's super easy to put that line on there like that. And then you can decide where you want it. So what I want to do is I want to put it along here. So I'm going to use dimensionals. Here they are. Hi, Teresa. Oh, I know you're the same time. So yes, you have you have no excuse. <laughs> oh, but it does come quick. We have a the mailman came, so he he. I did a bunch of mailing today, and I have more to do tomorrow. So your October giveaways have gone out. What else did I send out? Um, I sent out top ten to my team, and but those were for. Our, September because I'm late sending those out just because of all this craziness. All right, so that is going to be on there. And then we're just going to stick this on here. And it, it's going to overhang just a little bit. So I want to put it on the card before I put my road. I'm going to put it on my card first before I put my road on. All right. And then I'll get my road on there. All right, so I'm just using green tip glue. And then we're putting our pool party on here. So we also watched Yellowstone. Whoops, look at that. I stuck myself to the dimensionals. We watched the Yellowstone last night. I was waiting for Jeff to get back. All right, so let me get the road. So now I can put my road on here. All right. So now we have our road. And you can have it be as high as you want. Let me see. I'm going to put it. I'm just going to have it fill the whole thing up. Even though the original card, it might not have been so high. 
but that's okay. All right, so we have our road. And then we have our little cute little bear. And I need something to color on. Ugh. Heavens to Murgatroyd. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just want a piece of paper. Here we go. All right, so I just want something to put underneath there to color. All right, so what I'm going to do is I want to take some pool party. Now I have a light pool party and a dark pool party. Make sure I have the light in the dark. Now this is my light. It's almost done. So we'll see if it's come to life a little bit more. And what I want to do is I, since I cut out the bear and the little cute little bunny, I just want to color... I don't want to have to cut out the whole thing. So what I'm doing is I'm just coloring pool party around here because that way it looks like you've cut it out. Because it's going to get glued on the pool party cardstock. So by doing this, it just makes it look like you have cut it out, but you haven't. So I'm just going to quickly do my pool party. And this is the light and then I'll go over with the dark. So this is just sometimes it's easier to do this because you don't want to have to cut out some things. Like I love to fussy cut as much as the next person but I don't want to fussy cut out this like that skinny bike because you're just asking for it to be to rip right. So my pool party I think I almost have to just say you know what it's been swell, light pool party. I'm getting an, a new one out. Okay, so let me get the dark. Now we're going to take the dark, and I'm just going to come in with the dark just around these few little areas here. And you could color the whole thing with dark if you wanted. I just want to have it be, have a little bit of a variety but it's totally up to you. And then you'll see when we put it on the card, it just kind of hides that you haven't cut this out. It just kind of fools the eye a little bit. All right, so this is the light, the dark pool party. And then we'll color our bear. All right, the pool party. Now I can dump all these colors. Hey, Stacy. You're not too late. I just gapped a little bit. So there's going to be a, a awesome sale coming up, the seasonal sale, the 16th to the 18th. I printed the flyer out, but um, I won't go over that with you today because it's not started yet. All right, so let me get the crumb cake. All right, so we're going to do crumb cake for our bear. So we're just quickly with the light, coloring our little bear with the crumb cake. And his little hands, don't forget his hands. And his legs. And his little belly that's hanging out underneath his sweater. So do you like watching remakes of movies? Sometimes I'm like, use your imagination, people. Come up with a new movie. But, all right, so there was light crumb cake and I will do the dark and sometimes I wish they would make more nice movies it just seems like there's so many shoot 'em up movies that there's enough craziness going on in the world that I don't want to sit and watch a movie like that I want to watch a happy movie or a funny movie all right this is just filling in that little bit adding couple two tones to our bear so the crumb and the dark and the light crumb just to give him a little color he's so cute isn't he oh my gosh going around town with his little pet bunny in the cart all right that looks good. All right, 
so let me take some flirty so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the flirty and we're gonna put a little cheek on our bear and I'll usually I do this first but now I'm doing it at the end of there all right and a little here so this is flirty and let's put a little flirty on the tail of the bunny too and here's my light petal pink so I'll finish this with the light petal pink on his tail all right let's see all right we want our bunny to be gray so where is my gray 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 here we go so we're going to have a little gray bunny just because i don't want them to be oh thank you for sharing it stacy i love when you share my videos all right so this is just light gray for our bunny because I don't want the bear and the bunny to be the same color. So we've got gray granite, light gray granite. And then we'll add some dark. Just so he's got a couple different colors going on there. Don't these guys look like they're having a blast? All right, so now I want smoky slate. We have light and dark smoky slate. Let me put my lid on my green tip glue. Okay, hang on. Let's see, I just want the dark. So I'm just doing dark smoky slate. So we're gonna do the bicycle wheels with the dark smoky slate. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Don't you wonder where people come up with sayings? All right, so around, around, and around. All right. Let's see, did I miss anything? I don't think so. All right. Then I want to do the basket that the little bunny's in, and I'm going to use soft, soft suede for the basket. Again, another color of brown. I didn't want to use the crumb cake like the bear because I want it to look a little different. And I'm doing it solid because you can't see, so there must be a liner on this basket because it's not like you can see the body of the bunny through it, right? Ugh, take that lid off. All right, and then this is just the dark. So we've got dark. There. All right. Then I want to take just jade. So my bicycle is going to be dark, just jade. Let me scoot down again. We just jade. So I'm just basically tracing around. So that it has some cute color to it as well. And then I'm going to make his little sweater match his bicycle. And I'm just using that Just Jade. And this is just the dark. This is such a small area on the bicycle as well as the sweater that I'm not even worrying about using the light. And then we want pool party. Right. So we're gonna do the, the sweater with, not pool party, with Poppy Parade. So I want Poppy Parade. I'm just gonna get my dark Poppy Parade. Just where I want the dark to be. So around underneath the collar, around the back area. And here. And then I'll just go finish the rest of it in with the light. Easy, easy. I love the Poppy Parade. It's such a fun, bright red. Fill in the rest of the sweater. And then sometimes I do dark first, sometimes I do light first. I don't necessarily know or think one is better than the other. Just the way, because these markers blend so well together that I really don't think you can mess up 
either way. All right, so there's our Poppy Parade. Super cute. All right. Now what I want to do is, where is my gel pen? You know me and a gel pen, right? I know we do not have a gel pen. I get them off of Amazon. But it adds a little bit to the card. And everybody got one for the socials. Any, any of my socials. I have a spring and a fall coming up. And I always give a gel pen. I'm going to add a little bit more pool party. So as I could see after I colored, then I can see there's a few more spots where I was cutting that I missed. So then I can just go back in and add that pool party around the edges. Easy, easy. Okay. Now, back to the gel pen. All right. So I'm just going to add a little gel pen so the little bear has some freckles. We have to put little freckles on our bunny as well. And I love just adding dots. Don't ask me why. I just love adding just little dots here and there. All right, so we're going to put a line here. It would be kind of shiny on the bicycle. And I want to emphasize the fur on the sweater. So I'm just going to put a few little flecks here and there. And this just makes the sweater even look more furry than it already does. And then of course, some more little freckles or whatever you wanna call them, just little dots. And then I think we're pretty much done so we can start to assemble. Okay, so let me get all these things away. Let me scoot up a little bit so we can put our card together. Now, where's all my pieces? Okay, so we have our card here. And then on the inside, I'll show you the inside. Oh wait, let me put the inside. So we're gonna put a piece of white and just the memento. And then this set has this cute little leaf. And they're just kind of like falling. So I'm just going to let these leaves just kind of trickle and fall down the card like that. And then I can put a writing, I can put whatever I want, but right now it doesn't have any kind of greeting on the inside. And then I can just color the little leaves. I've got some green. Let's see, what else do I want? Um, pumpkin, just to make them kind of be fall leaves falling. But this way, the inside of the card isn't like naked, but it still gives me room to write. And it still kind of goes with the front of the card, right? Like there's, it's kind of like a fall looking card. So this is just pumpkin. Isn't this a cute little image? And then I'll do the red. And it just gets it ready. So then I can put whatever I want on the inside. And depending on what I want to do with the card, I have room. If I want to stamp anything on the inside, I still have room to stamp off to the side. All right, so let me put this on the inside. We got a green tip. I'm like all about the green tip today. I need to use it more often. All right inside and then we will put the outside together because I'm also going to use something else from Amazon and that is called a wobbler or a wobble so look how cute that is isn't that adorable and then you have that fun there's a hostess set hold on a minute where's my catalog there's a hostess set hold on a minute in the holiday catalog there is a hostess set that you can earn and look at how fun would this be. This set right here, the seasons of fun. You've got these cute little kids. So you've got the little, the little guy and the girl, and little girl or boy. I did this when I made it be a boy. But look at this fun little puppy. So wouldn't that little dog look cute there? That would be fun. All right. 
So let's finish our card. So I stamped the greeting ahead of time, like I said, but this is what I'm talking about. So this is your little, um, oh, thanks, Teresa. I do love to color. I do love to color. Even as a kid, I always had a coloring book and crayons. All right, so this is a wobble, wobbler, wobble, whatever, but it's from Amazon. And basically what it's going to do is it's just going to give some motion to the card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the little bear over, and we are going to put... Just peel this off. It's like a sticky thing here. And then we're going to put the other side on here. So you just peel them, peel them off. They've already got the adhesive on them, so it makes it easy to use. Just peel that off. And these are, I believe, the small size. And they come, I got the 48 pack. All right, peel that off. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna put our cute little bear. Oh, you can see I should have put more. I can always add it after, hold on. I should have put a little bit more pool party there. So he's gonna be on here. Like this. So let me get my pool party. Just the dark. Yep. So hold on a second. Let me get just a little bit here. Just to hide that white. So see how it kind of blends in? And you don't necessarily... You're not like going, oh, they didn't cut it all the way out, right? So that's just, you know, just kind of hides it. All right. So I'm also going to put this on here with I don't want I want to put it off to the side we don't want him catching so this just says friends like you make life a joy isn't that fun all right so we're going to put this over here you just want to make sure that when you're wobbling this one that it doesn't catch right so you can adjust these a little bit so we need to pull this out just a tad he's a little higher up so see looks like he's like scooting along then I also want to add some apples to our tree and I'm just going to use the matte decorative dots oh Stacy I'm so glad I think everybody enjoyed making it as well all right so you want to make sure you sign up for my spring social that's in March because we always have a good time. And it's through Zoom. It is virtual, so it doesn't matter where you live. We do it through Zoom. And then you get a, a, a replay. I'll, I'll send you the link with the replay. So if you can't do the Zoom, I don't want you stressing out, right? That you go, oh, you know, I can't do that day, but I still want to do the event. No worries. You just watch the video later. All right. So we've got some cute little apples in the trees. Oh, isn't that so cute? Thanks, Aunt. Yeah, it just kind of, I mean, it it's not cut out, but it just it just hides that white instead of having that white there because you've got the blue here. Now, if you really wanted, you could have, um, you know, made maybe put some more gray in here so it looks like you come, you can see the gray um, street behind, but I don't think it's too big of a deal. But isn't that so cute? All right, so let me show you the original card. Because this, when we did the original card, it was during celebration. So we had, um, so see the road is a little higher. So that's what I said. I wasn't sure if I did the road the same height, and it really doesn't matter. So here's the, the one. We used a different greeting because this is when we had the sheep set. Remember the sheep? And then it made it a birthday card. But I like just changed it using just the Joyful Life set. And now I can, you know, do something. So I didn't put a hat on him. Here we put the little hat on, on the bear. But I didn't put the hat on the bear because it's not a birthday card, right? So, all right, so let me turn so I can say, see you later, alligator. Um, ugh, get that phone back. So you're not looking up my big nose. <laughs> All right. So, so yeah, so super cute. I love, I, I wish, um, 
I wish we had the little wobbles, but like I said, just Amazon, if you just Google wobble, um, they're fun. They just add motion to your card, and it is so much easier than to try to make something, right? I mean, I like, I like making things as much as the next person, but I also like speed and, and ease as well. So, um, you love the tip, color in with, in with PP. Yes, just, or whatever color card stock you have in the back. So if I'd have made a card where I had like um, blushing bride in the background and maybe I had flowers, right? And I'm cutting out the flowers and there's like all sorts of white, then you would put blushing bride. Do we have a blushing bride? Oh my gosh, I don't even know if we have one. <laughs> or like petal pink. So I'm just like c coming up with like a name. So whatever color car stock is behind, then that is, you know, the one. As long as it's a light color. Like if, if I think if you had like a dark, You'd have to kind of be careful, right? Because you don't want it too dark. But since I had pool party in the back, it just kind of, you know, makes it not be so, you know, just that white area. But anyways, all right, so make sure. So thank you, Minda. Yeah, hey, Carol, I didn't see you in here. And Bonnie, those wobble things are fun. They are so fun. Hey, Charlotte. Oh, so anyway, so hopefully, you are all enjoying that extra hour. Do you have an extra hour to sleep now? Um, but it won't take long and it'll just be back to normal, right? All right, so I'm gonna say see you later. I'm gonna go, um, it's Taco Tuesday, yay! I don't think I've eaten all day, so I'm hungry. <laughs> all right, so um, I'm gonna go watch that movie. And we also are watching Lock and Key. Do you watch Lock and Key? It's on Netflix. Um, so the season two has started, so we've been watching it. It has the, the one of the ladies on it that plays the mom was on Scandal. Did you watch Scandal? So she plays the mom. Anyway, so the wobble just makes it so fun. And what is nice about the wobble is they lay flat. So it lays flat. So if you want to mail it, it will go into the envelope because it squishes it down. So... So that's always fun. Now, of course, I put all those um, map dots on there <laughs> with all the apples. So this this will probably be a, a card that I send something in a bubble envelope. So whenever I do these ones that have a little more definitions or whatever, they usually go with my um, goody thank you cards or my incentive thank you cards so that I it's going in a bubble envelope so I don't have to worry about um, things getting damaged in the mail. So. Anyways, all right, so I'm going to say see you later. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, um, make sure you reach out um, either through here or, or you can send me an email or through my blog. I love hearing from you. And um, I will see you tomorrow, same time, same channel, 3 o'clock for my What You Making Wednesdays. And I'm not sure what I'm making. I have an idea what I'm making. Whether that comes to fruition, is that a word? Um, we'll see. <laughs> All right, have a great night, everyone, and thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.